Okay, so I received a review sample to check out this program called Lossless Scaling because it recently added motion interpolation to double your frame rate. And this should work in almost every single game because it has nothing to do with NVIDIA or AMD frame generation. So now, I usually don't like to share any paid mods or programs, but the reason why I am making an exception here is because the developer of this program is friends with Hybrid. And we recently did a live stream with this Unreal Engine developer. And I want to support them because I think they are working on the things that are really important, okay? And I consider them to be members of our community anyway. But I, honestly, I wouldn't have checked out this program yet because if you read the description here, there's, it doesn't say anything about frame generation at all. So. I actually, somebody told me in the comments, more than one uh, of you told me, hey, check this out. This program is adding frame generation. I come here to Steam and I'm like, I don't see that anywhere. <laughs> so why would I buy it? It doesn't say here anything about frame generation. So I you know, strongly uh, recommend them to update this page and basically make that frame generation the, the selling point because I think it's the best thing this thing has to offer. Uh, I tested it and I'm gonna show you how it looks. It is not perfect, okay? But the thing I like about this approach is that it works for any game. And frame generation is amazing, but we don't have support on every single game. So if you wanna play, you know, GTA modded, which is even more demanding, you can use this and double your frame rate. And for me, this is especially important because it doesn't mean just to double the frame rate. On my LG C1, if I can get 120 frames per second, I can 2.6x the motion clarity of those 120 frames per second. So for me, it is not like going from 70 FPS to 120 FPS. For me, if I can hit those 120 frames per second, if I can get those frames delivered to my display, regardless of if they are real frames or generated frames or fake frames, you know, whichever you want to call them, for me, the advantage, so the jump is absolutely gigantic. So I am definitely willing to lose some uh, qualities, okay, just to get that frame rate. And this is GTA a uh, natural vision a uh, mod which is it makes it more demanding and i can actually hit those 120 frames per second because this mod is cpu bound okay so even with my, when my gpu is like at 70 or 80 percent sometimes my frame rate is dropping to like 70 and it's because of the cpu okay so this is working very well to give me those 120 frames per second. So now, right now, I am using VRR. And the reason why I'm using VRR is because it is the only way I can actually show you this mod working. So the way you have to set up this program is you need to have your monitor at its maximum refresh rate, okay? So I have right now my LG C1 set to 4K 120 frames per second, but I am capping the frame rate to 60, okay? And then with this program, you will see this changing. You will see the TV reporting 120 frames per second once I activate that. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm going to turn that frame generation on and you'll see what happened. Okay, so I'm making a delay here, let me... Okay, here's a program. So here's what you have to do. You have to set the scaling to auto. Well, you can use some scaling also at the same time, but for, for the purpose of this video, I'm only going to test this lossless frame generation, okay? And you can read the recommended here. 60 FPS on the game and 120 Hertz on the monitor minimum, okay? It would be better, of course, if you can get 120 FPS and your monitor is 240 Hertz. That would work even better. Uh, so, you see the settings here, just auto, uh, a scaling type, no scaling. So I'm just gonna use this. 
And under the rendering options, I am using HDR support here. So now, I was told that this is not working, okay? But I don't see it hurting at all. And if I turn it off, actually, I do see that something is changing. So the picture on the game, if I have HDR already, it will become washed out. So it might be working or not. Give it a try. This might get an update and be even better. Uh, but for now, I tested it on SDR and HDR. I don't see any difference. Okay, It works as, as good. So I just check this HDR support on. And now what you have to do is just hit a scale and then quickly change to the game and you will see you will see this frame rate going to 120 okay so now oh, I will show you how it looks in motion but I want you to see that change in real time so let me go back let me turn it off and try to go back so you see that jump happening you see that jump happening so I'm going to hit here on scale okay on scale and I go back you see now 50, 60 FPS. Now I'm going to hit a scale and then I'm going to go back here. So now check this out, the FPS. 60, boom, 120. You see that happening? So I am getting 120 frames right now delivered to the monitor. And it works. So now you do have motion interpolation artifacts. Okay, You, you do have those occlusion artifacts and... Right now, I am not using any anti-aliasing at all. Okay, so these are raw pixels. So we cannot blame any ghosting to just the ghosting that we get with you know, TAA and these temporal anti-aliasing techniques. So I am getting ghosting here surrounding the character. And sometimes I see some weird artifacts. Some weird artifacts in some... Um, some areas on the background, like things that the, the algorithm is failing to resolve. You will notice some weird things. Let me see if I, can, if I can find it. Find an example that I can point out for you. So this is not flawless. It is not perfect. It does have some weird artifacts. You see like right now like this. You see, like, you see that weirdness right there? See, this is weird. You see some jumpiness sometimes. So now, this game is not running flawlessly even when I see 60 FPS. Because even with this mod turned off, I'm going to show you that the camera is jumping sometimes. Like the camera is not like perfectly as smooth all the time. Like if I do this, if I do this panning, you will see how we are going to get judder. I'll tell you. Because you see this weirdness right here? You see that? This is the kind of artifacts that you can see sometimes. And I saw that in other games too. You see, it's specifically this detail right here. So it is not perfect. It is not flawless. But what I want to show you is the judder. Like right now here, I'm not getting any judder. But sometimes I get judder and it's the game. So it, it is not only that frame generation uh, program. Because when I turn it off, I am still getting judder even when it says 60 FPS. So it might have to do with this, you know, with the mod that I am using here for GTA 5. Okay. But it works. You can see it works. It looks good. Uh, and it is definitely something worth checking out. Okay. It works. So you might have a game uh, without this kind of support. And you might want to... Give it a try. So now I tried this in Hogwarts Legacy. And actually, I'm going to show you that. I'm going to stop the video and show you Hogwarts Legacy too. Because it, it doesn't work very well for Hogwarts Legacy. Because we are already getting some ghosting surrounding the character because of this temporal anti-aliasing. Okay, With DLSS uh, or TAA, it is already there. So when you already have ghosting and now you're doing motion interpolation, it becomes the 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 problem the pro uh, the problem becomes uh, amplified. Okay, you're um, you're making it worse basically. So I would say for Hogwarts Legacy, it's like barely usable. But here, without it, without TAA, without any anti-aliasing, just raw pixels, 
it works very well. I can I will definitely play this game like that with the mod because with this mod I cannot get 120 FPS all the time uh, to use All in Motion Pro. Uh, so I would definitely use this because this mod is uh, CPU bound. So it doesn't matter if I lower the graphics. Well, it does matter, but I don't want to lower the graphics that much anyway. So this is great. This is great for GTA. It works very, very well. So I'll show you Hogwarts Legacy in a moment. Let me see if I can see any other, um, you know, artifacts or things to point out. And of course, I can see everything much better in motion when I am using OLED Motion Pro. But I wanted to show you that jump on the FPS. So if I, you see this now, now it's now it's, it's even worse in this scene. You see? Take a look at surrounding the character. It's like. It's like artifact. It's not only the occlusion artifacts. You see this on the helmet? These lines on the helmet, they are like failing to, to resolve. Even when my FPS is rock solid 60, you see? My GPU is like at 40, 42% right now. Now, the other thing is that there is a performance penalty, okay? It's like 20%, okay? I should have said that at the beginning, but if you if you stay on the video, you're getting all the information. I have no script, okay? So I should have said that uh, before. The performance penalty is significant, okay? 20% I've seen. Uh, just by turning this on and off is a big, uh, big performance penalty. Um, so you cannot think about this just like, okay, I'm just gonna double my FPS. So if I'm getting 60 and my GPU is like at 85% or 90%, no, you're, you're not going to get 120. You have to lower the graphics, okay? It's just not gonna be that, uh, you know, just doubling the frame rate. There's a big performance penalty. Uh, penalty. 20% is big. It's definitely a big penalty. But it might be worth in some cases. You see the artifacting surrounding the character. Sometimes it's very, very bad. But at least it is not like just ghosting all the time. It depends. So you see right now, like for example, right here, it's not very bad. Right here, you don't see it, but depending on what you have on the background, now it becomes worse or this area for some reason. But then sometimes it doesn't happen, so it's weird. See, right now it's not happening. Maybe if I do it faster. Yeah, if I do it faster, it definitely happens. See, this becomes messed up. But here, even if I do it fast, it doesn't happen, see? It depends on what you have on the background. Like right now, for example, here, I can do it very fast. It's perfect, see? No problem. See? Even if it's farther away, no problem. But with all these NPCs in the background, it does happen. So it seems like, depending on the difficulty of the scene or the things that you have, um, it, it definitely makes a difference. So now let me show you, you see? That's terrible. So if it was like that all the time, I would say this is not, this is not usable at all. But it just, it's not like that all the time at all. It is not like that all the time. Now we don't have the helmet, but you can see it on the, on the character like that. But it works, man. It, it, it's definitely worth trying. I'll definitely play with this for a while and see how it goes. Maybe I'll, I'll figure out something to make it better. Maybe some updates will make it better. Um, so I'll let you know. Now let me let me show you Hogwarts Legacy. By the way, this uh, mod is uh, is great. I might have a link in the description of the video. This is a free mod. It's called um, Vision Evolve, something like that. Um, so I might add a link uh, to this mod in the description so you can check this out. Uh, it, it looks very nice. The colors uh, look a lot nicer than just vanilla uh, GTA 5. And they don't look like disgusting all the time or something like that. Sometimes I see these mods that just destroy the, <laughs> the colors are just like vivid mode all the time and, and it gets old very fast. But this one is, is, is very nice. So now let me show you Hogwarts Legacy. I'll pause the video and I'll come back. Okay, so let's check out the Hogwarts Legacy. Right now, same setup, 60 FPS, 120 Hertz, uh, 4K 120. And now let's turn this on. 
hit here a scale come here you see this this is gonna jump to 120 see that boom 120 I don't know why it says VRR off right now I don't know what happened let's see huh is this weird you turn off VRR Let's see. Turn it back on and off again. Because if VRR is not working, then this this is not re this is not accurate here. Well, let's see if it's working anyway. If I'm getting 120, it shouldn't matter at all. The only reason why I'm using VRR is to show you that this reading here. Because if you are not using VRR, if you set 120 hertz, this is what you're gonna see here. So now let's get this out of the way. Let's check out the ghosting. You see here is a lot worse. And it is more consistent. Like all the time you see that ghosting. See? It's a big, big ghosting. But the thing is, even with this off, we're getting ghosting anyway. It is not as noticeable, of course. But what I'm saying is that this uh, motion interpolation is just amplifying the problem. But the problem is there already, but it, it makes it even worse. But now, this is not as bad as the FSR2 uh, frame generation mod that I shared before. I, I would say this is a lot better uh, because it's not like a big double ghosting that gets bigger you know, the faster you move. It does get worse when you move faster, but it's not as annoying, basically. But it might depend on you. Maybe you don't. You cannot live with this it, because it's not. It's not pretty, for sure. It's not pretty. So I would say it's not gonna work the same on every single game. And it, of course, it depends on the game's uh, you know, TAA and if it has the option to turn off anti-aliasing completely. Um, yeah. So it might not be like you know perfect all the time for every single game. We're not talking about something here that's flawless okay you're definitely going to see some issues but it is worth trying definitely worth trying i can recommend it for sure so yeah let me know your thoughts and opinions if you've tried this program if you like it um it also has some other things like you can use for example you can do fsr uh up upscaling here this is fsr one um um so yeah, you can just use FSR upscaling here, set a scaling factor. This is like ultra quality FSR 1. Uh, if you need it, if the game doesn't have DLSS or FSR 2 or 3, um, you can do this. Uh, but yeah, and you can do it at the same time with the frame generation too, I believe. Um, I haven't tested that, um, so it might not work as well. I'm not sure, I haven't tested that yet, uh, but it's supposed to work. So now this here on the rendering options, it has like a VRR support um, and all of that. But I was told, actually, I watched a video from Hybrid. He, he made a video about this and he said, or I'm not sure if he mentioned that on the video, but at least he told me that this was not working at the moment when he shared this with me. So this might work better in the future but right now he told me don't use any of these rendering options because they are not even working right now um so yeah but i i tried this hdr on and off and i didn't see a problem with it um but yeah it is not perfect you have some ghosting it might get very annoying sometimes but if you're just playing the game maybe but it might be okay but here is definitely much worse than uh, on GTA it's not even close this is like very bad in comparison uh, because it already has some of that ghosting like if I turn it off let me try turning this off to show you the on scale you just hit on scale here let's see now if I turn this off that super ugly ghosting is gone let me let me move just find a better spot where we don't have that brightness change like here on the darkness let me see yeah the, the ghosting is, is a lot more difficult to see here but it's definitely there let me see if i can get a better 
a better example to show that. Uh, it, it looks it, it's so hidden it, it, you, you cannot see it so but in some in some examples I do see it not here that's the point if you can barely see the ghosting it's, it's doing a good job but there is definitely some some ghosting definitely because I saw it before let me see now here in this this shot Yeah, I cannot see it well now. You see in between the legs here. It's not bad. I mean, it's not bad. It's there, man, but I cannot see it right now. I saw it um, inside the cave when I was testing it. I don't see it well now. But yeah, it doesn't work very well here. See now before. Now I'm gonna turn it on. Go here. Now you see that? Ghosting definitely becomes a problem for sure. So yeah. I'll test more games and let you know, but it's definitely worth trying. So yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions.